is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 5. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shah, and evil and only evil, behold, is come, and end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. Call him like Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rahakwadash, double underside, teaches the head apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, love, and salutations to the elect. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Lord, wouldn't this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point? You see, and that's what you got coming down the pipes, man. Evil, man. When, when you break down that word evil, Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad, man. So that's what you got for to pretty much take place here on the planet Earth, ultimately right here in America. You see, the end has come. The end is coming. Watch for the end. That's where we at. We at the end of a regime, man. Huh? And that's pretty much the reason behind all these things taking place in the earth, man. This turmoil, this calamity, you know, the famine brewing and war, civil war, you know, the stress of nations. All these things are brewing because we at the end of, of, of this, uh, of the times of the Gentile. You know, the times of the Gentiles is pretty much being fulfilled, man. Huh? You know, in the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, stone with the lick. Hey, it's about to come back into power, man. You how about Shemel Shah's for to come take the throne? You see, and we know this, you know, real quick, by way of of the prophecies. You see, Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, and the Lord is going to pretty much visit the world by way of turmoil, man. A chaos, destruction, famine, death is going to be taking place on the earth when you have by Shemiah and Shah starts to, uh, to visit, man. You know? And real quick, to show a few articles, that's what you got taking place. All right? And this right here, this is a recent article that just dropped night, June 1st, 2022. Three people killed after the gunman opened fires inside an Oklahoma hospital, man. No, I'm not going to read the articles. We're just going to hit the headlines. But, hey, that's an example of those evils uh, increasing, man. You know, those evils are increasing. This uh, lost June 1st, Los Angeles Stations charging eight eight dollars a gallon as gas prices continue to climb nationwide, you see. And that's gonna to contribute to evils, man. You see, because hey, if gas continues to go up, they mean hey people gonna pretty much stop stop running, man. They're gonna stop driving. If diesel continue to go up, they're gonna fit the uh, the truckers, man. You know? Everything is pretty much gonna twinkle down to to a uh, to America collapsing, man, and evils is only going to increase, man. You see? Here goes another one. This June 1st, all this stuff is happening this month, man. And this prior month, man. So expect a lot of judgment to happen this month. You see, he said at least 18 have died from uh, from spreading tick-borne virus that caused nosebleed fever. You see? So, evils is increasing. All right? Here go another one. Ten, tens of thousands of chickens have just been wiped out. Yet another accident fire, man. <laughs> In which these, these fires are accident um, fires, man. You see, Esau Eden, the so-called white man, is about to uh, cause a famine to take place here in America, which is all going to be orchestrated by the Lord because the Lord controls controls the, the hearts of men you know so the lord is causing is making the so-called white man do these things you see but you feel you feel the witness of famine man you know the a the famine is gonna be another another domino effect that's gonna cause evil to increase in the earth you know hey and this big news right here may 31st you see you see uh russia has just threatened to wipe out the entire U.S. and chilling warning over Ukraine. Hey, evils are increasing. The famine brewing. World War III brewing. You know, 
great deaths brewing. Here go another. Accident fire continues to take place at food processing facilities all across the U.S. <laughs> hey, that's going to twinkle down to a famine, man. Here go another one about the pestilences. All right. A deadly disease with a 30% death rate has now been de uh, detected at two locations in Georgia, man. So you see, Yahweh Shimei Awashai is visiting America, man. By way of famine, death, and hey, by way of the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Here's another one, May 30th. 71 additional cases of monkeypox identified in England, more appearing in the U.S. fears of uh, of super spreader events. Who can rule out pandemic? You see, and these day this is the works of your how about Shimei was shot, man. Hey, the Lord is beginning to visit the world which he made. You see, real quick. It's the book of 2nd Ezra 15 and verse uh and verse 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what you're seeing taking place, man. The Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, is beginning to visit America. And the evils is only going to increase, man. All right, this is just the beginning stage. These are the beginning stages of sorrow. These are the beginning stages of sorrows, man. You know, these evils is going to increase. Okay, this is the book of 2nd Ezra 14 and verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You see? So, hey, prepare to see more shootings, more mass shootings. Prepare to see more pestilences, more deaths. You know, prepare for the for the civil war. Because buying going to come for your guns, man. Prepare for gas to continue to go up. Nothing is never going to get back to normal, which in America never been normal. But the life that you once lived, 2017, 2014, hey, it's gone, man. This the new norm. You see, and it's only going to get worse. That's why it's important to seek your how about Shemel Shah. It's important to seek the Lord now more than ever. You see? Because as these things increase, it's going to increase upon those who subscribe to the world, man. Those who uh, who hold fast to the world, you know? But your protection lies in the hands of the Lord, man. You know, real quick, that's the book of Psalms. Chapter, uh, matter of fact, yeah, that's the book of Psalms, chapter 32. And verse, let's see, uh, yeah, in verse 5. We just gonna get this, yeah, because it's important. Psalms 32 and verse 5. I acknowledge my sins unto thee. And that's one thing you have to do. Acknowledge your iniquities to the Lord, man, which his name is Yahweh, meaning he who exists. That's who the word ignorantly calls God and Yahweh Shah. That's who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You gotta call upon the true names of the Lord, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I acknowledge my sins uh unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions. Unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. You see, say law. So the Lord, hey, the Lord is merciful to forgive you, man, if you repent in sincerity and truth, man. You see, verse six, for uh, for this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in the time when thou mayest be found. And right now is the time that the Lord uh, can be found, man. Right now is the time to be saying this prayer. You know. Hey, don't wait for all hell to break loose. Don't wait for these things to pretty much start showing forth in the earth. And then you repent. Hey, get it. Hey, repent. Why are you seeing an uh, inkling of it, man? You know? Why are you getting the gist of it? Why are you seeing it brew? The, hey, that's the time to repent, man. You seeing, oh, damn. You know, you see the famine. You see the inflations. You seeing the signs. That's when you need to repent, man, and, and get right. So that you may be protected, man. So that the Lord, you know, Lord willing that he may have mercy on you. You see? He said, for this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in the time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the flood of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from, uh, from trouble. And that's what's coming, man. Trouble, man. Trouble is coming to America, man. Perilous times. You see? He said, Thou shalt compass me about with uh with songs of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way 
which thou shalt go, I will guide thee with my eye, you see? And that's what we're looking for from Yahweh Shah. We're looking for the Lord to pretty much guide us, man. You know, and keep us keep us from uh um, from from this from this destruction that's about to take place real quick. Get this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91. And verse 7. Alright. A thousand shall fall out. Matter of fact, shit, we can just Yeah, we can just give verse uh, nine, uh verse thirty verse six. Matter of fact, verse five, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noon day. And it's pretty much to those who are seeking the Lord, man. Who chose to seek your Shemel shot early, before these things start to take place in the earth. You know? He said, A thousand shall follow thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. You see, because the evils is going to increase. So death is going to increase in the earth. All right? He said, But it should not come not thee. And that's the comfort, man. That's the beauty of knowing that, man. You see, that's the peace that the Lord is leaving with you. You see, he said, He, he, he know the thoughts that he thinks towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. But that's Jeremiah 29 and 11. You see, so that's the comfort. You know, that come with seeking the Lord because America going to turn upside down. You living amongst the most wickedest people that ever be in the earth, man. Hey, this is the height of the wickedness of the people, man. So evils is only going to increase. You're going to need the Lord to protect you, man. And if you think a gun going to protect you, you're going to die. You see, because a, a gun, is, a, which I'm not going to say having a, having a gun is wise, especially not in these times. But your hope and deliverance should not be in your gun, man. You know, ultimately, your your, your deliverance is going to come through Yahweh Shah. You know, but Lord, we're going to satisfy unto the elect to those seeking salvation through our Lord Yahweh Shah. It's always giving all undergoing praises to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, 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 Yahweh